This video provides guidelines to assist election judges in handling various activities and situations that may be encountered on election day. Voters are entitled to certain rights on election day. State law requires that a voter's bill of rights be displayed in every polling place. A poster of the voter's bill of rights is located in the green box and must be posted in a viewable manner. During voting hours, who is allowed in the polling place? Election judges, voters and their children, persons helping voters who need assistance, vouchers, election observers who have been authorized by Ramsey County or the Secretary of State and have an authorization letter, police officers only if they have been requested by the head judge to keep order in the polling place, challengers with written authorization from a candidate or party, teacher and student observers of the election process, members of the media. During voting hours, what activities or behavior are prohibited in the polling place? Disorderly persons, persons under the influence of drugs or alcohol, smoking, firearms and explosives, use of cell phones and video cameras, persons who are campaigning, campaign material, political badges, or other related items. Campaigning may not occur in the polling room, within 100 feet of the building in which a polling place is located, anywhere on the public property where a polling place is situated. If you witness any campaigning within these boundaries, please ask them to move outside the boundary or to cover their campaign material. Sample ballots and or voting aids from newspapers or campaign ads are allowed in the polling place if brought in by voters for their personal use. These materials cannot be displayed outside of the voting booth or left in the voting booth. Check the voting booths periodically for materials left behind by voters. There are two groups of people who are permitted to be present in the polling place and have further guidelines which they must follow. Members of the media and challengers authorized by candidates or political parties. Media presence provides a valuable form of transparency to the elections process. Media photography and video recording is allowed in the polling room with limitations. Photographs cannot be taken of voted ballots. We recommend that the news media ask for permission to photograph an individual voter before doing so. Broad shots of the polling place containing multiple voters are allowed. All interviews and exit polling must occur outside the polling room. If conducting exit polls, an anonymous written questionnaire must be used. More information on the conduct of media and exit polling can be found in the Polling Place Reference Guide. Official challengers may be present in the polling place to challenge the eligibility of voters. Challengers are appointed by political parties for partisan races and by candidates in nonpartisan races. The head judge will assign a seat to the challenger, usually at the registration table, and the challenger may only challenge the eligibility of a voter based on the personal knowledge of the challenger. Challengers are not allowed to make lists of who has voted, as this is considered poll watching and is prohibited in Minnesota law. Challengers may only address election judges, not individual voters. Only one challenger per party or candidate may be present in the polling place and is allowed to remain for the entire day. The basis of all challenges must be stated in writing on the oath of challenger form. This form must be filled out by the person making the challenge and completed by the election judge. Have the challenged voter swear or affirm to the oath of challenged voter. You may then question the voter regarding the reason for the challenge. If the voter's answers indicate the voter is eligible to vote in the precinct, allow the voter to begin the registered or non-registered voting process. If the voter's answers do not indicate eligibility, the voter is not allowed to vote. If a challenger persists with the challenge after going through these procedures, have the voter verbally repeat the oath at the top of the polling place roster and continue with the registered or non-registered voting process. If any challenges occur, note them on the election day journal, including the voter's name. More information on challengers is available in the polling place reference guide. State and federal laws require that assistance be available for voters. This includes assisting voters into or through the polling place, reading or translating voting materials such as registration applications or ballots, completing forms, or marking ballots. Two election judges of different major political parties working together
can assist any number of voters. When offering assistance to a voter, be impartial, courteous, and professional. Avoid actions that might influence how a person votes. Finally, take necessary measures to protect the voter's privacy. For further information on assisting voters, please see Chapter 8 of the Ramsey County Elections Polling Place Reference Guide. Voters can be assisted by an individual of their choice, as long as that individual is not their employer or an agent of the employer, an agent from their union, a party slash candidate appointed challenger, or a candidate in that election. Individuals from the public may assist no more than three voters with marking their ballot on election day. They may assist an unlimited number of voters with reading or translating documents, including sample ballots. Assistants may also fill out forms, but the voters must always provide their genuine signature. Marking an X or a signature stamp is acceptable. A voter who cannot enter the polling place may send someone in to alert the roster or registration judges that the voter needs to vote from his vehicle. If this occurs in your polling place, two judges of different major political parties are permitted to bring the voting materials outside to the voter and administer the voting process at his vehicle. For complete instructions on curbside voting procedures, please review Chapter 8 of the Polling Place Reference Guide.